Hello. Okay, so in this video, in this short guide, I will talk about creation of the pod using the Kubernetes API and the CURL. It will be a very small guide. And to start with it, you need first to have a Kubernetes cluster, of course. In my case, it, it's an EKS Kubernetes cluster. Uh, prerequisites but of course you can use any kubernetes cluster you have i am using the eks uh, mainly so that's why i picked it of course uh, so first we will create uh, the service account with the secret attached to the service account which will give us basically the permission to interact with the kubernetes api server and we will get uh, the JWT token from uh, created service account, um, which will be used in all requests with CURL. I will demonstrate it in uh, in a couple of minutes. You you will see it. Uh, then we will get all the pods using the CURL and uh, JWT token I got in the previous step. Uh, create creating of the pod and deletion of the pod so let's not waste uh, time anymore okay so let's actually start the creation of the service account mm, but before that let's me let me show you my kubernetes cluster it's a fresh Kubernetes EKS cluster I created specifically for this demo. Uh, like you see, it's not basically those are, those things, those pods are default for this cluster. Core DNS, AWS node, fresh uh, EKS cluster. Let's uh, create first the service account. And like I like I explained already, the service account we actually need to uh, to give us the permissions uh, to interact with the API server with the Kubernetes API server. So let's create first the the service account needed, which is called Play with Kubernetes API. Okay, so like you see, we created the needed service account. The next step will be to attach uh, the secret uh, to this service account. Why we need to attach the secret? Because in my EKS cluster, I have the version one uh, zero, what, sorry, 1.24, which is a version and in this version, uh, the secrets not created automatically anymore with the service account, meaning you must create them manually. And that's that's what I will do. I will create it manually. Oh, so I see this file already exists from the test previous test. So let's recreate this file first. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And let's apply the secret itself to the Kubernetes cluster, of course. Okay, so the secret is created we can actually uh, check the secret is attached uh, to to needed uh, service account through tokens in tokens we actually see that play with Kubernetes API service account using uh, this token, play with Kubernetes API secret. And definition of this actually in this line. So this is basically meaning 
be touching the secret uh, to the needed service account. Play with Kubernetes API secret in our case. Uh, another thing, don't you don't need to worry about all those commands because I will attach to the video link uh, to the gist with all those commands and you will actually can run it by yourself. You don't need to remember all of this or copy paste from the YouTube video or something. Also, you can find it in my uh, GitHub repo. In the end of this uh, video, I will show you. So, okay, so the secret we created, service account is created. Next step will be uh, giving the needed permission to the service account. I given the cluster admin uh, permissions uh, why I am doing this? Because I want to simplify uh, this guide. Of course, in the production use case, you don't uh, need to do this. It uh, is dangerous, too much power. But in for for the demo purposes, it uh, it actually great. So let's give the cluster admin permission uh, to the service account. Okay, so the service account secret and the cluster role admin body is created. Mm, let's check the token is created and we we can get this token from the secret. Yeah. Let's define a couple of variables to use it uh, in the comment uh, you see with the CURL, so token API server, and the API server is basically uh, the endpoint of the Kubernetes cluster, of the EKS Kubernetes cluster in my case. Mm, so we are ready and we actually uh, can create the request to the API using the token, using this header, the barrier token, and token it's a JWT token. So let's uh, test everything with uh, getting all the pods from the Kubernetes cluster with this command. Great, so we actually can get all the pods in this cluster. And let's uh, even make it prettier <laughs> with JQ looking nice here yeah. so next step will be actually to create the new pod which is a busy pod it's a simple container with, with a lot of different uh, tools utilities uh, I picked for the dem demonstration purposes only so Let's create this pod. The definition of the pod you can see here. And definition in the JSON format. I think you also can do it with the YAML, but in this case, in my case, it's a JSON. Let me know if you want to see another format. I will touch the gist if you want. So let's create the pod. But first, let's see. Let's see. We, we don't have any pods. Yeah, in this namespace. Okay. So let's create. This is basically the response of, the, of my request with the URL. Let's check the needed pod is created. Yeah, the pod is created. Busy pods already running. Everything looks good. So basically the last step will be to delete this pod using the CURL, JWT token. Let's do it. Yep, it's in terminating state. 
so everything looks good uh, thank you for watching and another thing you can actually find the gist uh, i will also touch i will put in uh, in my repo it's a uh, kubernetes guides and this one actually with explanation of all the commands uh, you saw a minute before so you can use it also but uh, like i said it will be also in the gist uh, that's that's all thank you for watching